Today's video is going to be a really fun one, and I know it is going to be for me because today I'm going to be ranking all of my Odin's Eye palettes. This is actually the hardest one of these rankings that I have done this far. I literally spent forever trying to figure out which place to put all of these, but if you guys want to see where I rank everything or hear my thoughts on these palettes, then just keep watching. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. And if you guys love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe. Click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. But with that being said, let's get into this video. So one of my favorite things to do on my channel and just in life period is to play with eyeshadow palettes to try new brands and new color combos. And I just freaking love eyeshadow out of every hobby that I've ever had, which I have had so many of them. Eyeshadow palettes has been the one thing that has always just stuck for me. So I really love eyeshadow palettes so much. So like I said, this was kind of hard for me, but some of them were easy. But for the most part, it was pretty difficult. I wanted to do this video because Odin's Eye is coming out with their mystery boxes. My first YouTube video I ever posted was last year. And it was actually with an Odin's Eye mystery box. And I still remember how hard that video was <laughs> to do. But I just wanted to rank these palettes in celebration of those mystery boxes. If you guys are interested in them... Or any of these palettes that I talk about, I will have everything that's still available linked down below in my description box. But the mystery boxes launch on March the 29th through April the 1st. You can get a $45 box that has a $90 value or a $70 box that has a $170 value. The only things that will not be included in those box are their newest collection with um, the Earthwood palette, the Mighty Monster, and the Spring Dragon. And that includes like their lip products within those collections. They don't include like new collabs, but they have some of the older ones in there. And some of them are, are like my top favorites. So let's go ahead and get into the ranking. I have 13 palettes here. And coming in at number 13 is the Odin's Eye Spring Dragon palette. This palette is really beautiful, and I I love pastels, but the reason I rank this at number 13 is because you guys have heard me say it a hundred times at this point. For me, this is just a companion palette. It is not a standalone, and I had to be a little nitpicky with this ranking because, like I mentioned, it was kind of hard to rank these. So not only did I go off of like my preferences for color story, but I also went in the like, does it go from light to deep? Does it have the mid-tone shades and the shimmers and stuff like that? Which is why this one ranked lower. But this is a really good formula. I love Odin's Eye eyeshadow formulas. And I think if you love this color story, you truly can't go wrong with it. But it's a palette that honestly I could live without. But that's just solely preference. And that's all. Coming in at number 12, this one will be included in those boxes. And I think the palettes are picked like at random, but it is the Planet Spirit palette. This was done in collaboration with Betty Jean, and this palette is freaking stunning. Honestly, I really love this palette, but just like the last one, it doesn't have enough deep shades, and they're all like mid-tones. That there is a light shimmer in here, but there are no lighter mattes. And on my very pale skin, these all show up as a mid tone shade. So that's why it ranked at number 12. But if you're somebody that doesn't do a lot of contrast in your looks or things like that, then I think you would really love this palette because I sure have, but always in, always with something else. You know what I mean? I lost my train of thought. I can't find the words. Then coming in 
at number 11, we have the Sea Talk palette. This was done in collaboration with Lauren May Beauty. This palette is really beautiful. I love that it goes from really light to really dark. I think she did something smart by including the neutrals and the colorful shades. Really love that neon pop in here as well. This palette so goes with her vibe. I can see her in this. And I love the little blue quad over here. But for me, it does have this neutral, this neutral quad here. And that is why it ranks lower. But I mean, if you love neutrals, then you would love this palette. For me, though, it's just I don't really dig into the neutrals. You can actually tell like my matte neutrals have like barely even been touched. I think they've been swatched and that's it. But I mean, it's still great quality. It's just not my favorite color story. And then honestly, from here on out, like I actually like all of these palettes and all of their color stories. And it was really hard to rank the next 10 palettes, but I had to put stuff somewhere. So coming in at number 10, we have the Earthwood palette. This was done in collaboration with Tina from the Fancy Face. And I ranked this lower, lower because of the same reason I ranked Sea Talk lower. It's the, there's a lot of neutrals in here. This shade right here, it is called Beauty. It is the most beautiful, like fiery green shade I've ever seen in my life. I just love, I think that's the multi-chrome and it's so beautiful. I like that this palette goes from really light to really dark. It has everything that I look for in a palette. It's just the color story. While I think it's beautiful out of the ones that I have, it's not my favorite. Still beautiful. And let's just talk about the artwork on these palettes. They are freaking incredible. Coming in at number nine, we have the Mighty Monster palette. This was done in collaboration with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And I really love this color story a whole lot. I love like this whole like little situation down here. Love the blue and the purple. I love all of it. Honestly, I could do without the top, but I think it makes it to where a lot more people would pick it up. And I completely understand why it's in there. And don't get me wrong. I like neutrals too, but if I'm going to pick, it's probably going to be a colorful shade. So this is ranking here solely because the color story as well. This palette is freaking beautiful. I think she did a spectacular job on it, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. And this one was one of my favorites for a while as well. This is coming in at number eight. It is the Giant Wolves, and this is from Annette too. And out of the two, this one is my favorite. I love this palette so much. I remember the first look I ever did with it. I have pan down here in this shade. I just love this palette. I think it's so beautiful. I love blue eyeshadow, but I really love blues and purples together. I love the swampy greens up here at top. And this one is supposed to be like in some of the boxes. And I love it. Oh, it makes me so happy that more people are going to get the opportunity to get some of these discontinued palettes. Coming in at number seven, I have the Little Ghost palette. I love this one a whole lot too. I think this palette is so freaking beautiful. And I was actually looking at these palettes uh, the other day because I have another video that I'm actually going to be filming after this one. But um, I was looking at Club Nebula. Mine's messy. Overlook that. But they kind of, like they're different. For sure, but they kind of have the same vibes, and I think it's that bottom row that's making me like really feel that way. But then you also have the blues and stuff too. I'm totally getting like similar vibes off these palettes. So if you have one, I don't know if you would really need the other, but I really enjoy this color story a lot, and I 100% recommend it. I think it's freaking beautiful, but. There are six more palettes over this one that I love even more, but I really, really do love this one as well. Coming in at number six is the Soulmate 2. I love this palette. I remember um, when this launched, I wasn't able to pick it up at the time, 
and I just wanted it for so long. I had such FOMO over this palette, and honestly, it was for good reason. This palette is freaking beautiful. I really love this shade down here. You guys know I say it all the time. Probably like we get it, but I just love it. I love the shimmers in here, the mattes. It's just so freaking beautiful, and I'm so glad I got this. Did I get this in that box last year? No, I bought this one on my own, but I'm so glad that I did. It's such a freaking good one. Now we're down to the top five. Oh my God. I have nothing bad to say about any of these palettes. Really, I didn't most of them anyway, but they all like have everything that I look for in a palette, except for maybe the Spring Dragon and the Planet Spirit. But these top five, the color stories are literally perfect. And I would not change a thing about them. And it was so freaking hard for me to like rank these. I know I've said that so many times, but I truly cannot stress that enough. You guys know Unearthly Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands, but I went through that pretty quick. Glam Light, I have like 30 palettes of theirs. And that was hard because I had to lay them all out and like, truly look at them and remember what I created with them. But this one, it was, it was really hard, but coming in at number five, we have the Christmas Eve palette. I missed this the first year and I actually picked it up this year. I do have two looks up with this palette. They are voiceovers. I have uh, looked up with quite a few of these. I'll link my Odin's Eye playlist at the end of this video. And I will also put it down in my description box. But I was so happy to finally get my hands on these. And I'm glad that I did because these palettes are freaking incredible. And I'm so glad they're including them in the boxes. But this shade down here is like a blue to a purple, but has the coolest gold flip to it. It's so freaking beautiful. And I already told you guys, I really love blues. But the greens and the other like cool tone mattes that they put in here, even this gray shade, it all makes perfect sense. You guys know I don't even like gray eyeshadow, but this palette had me questioning that because I love the looks that I created with it. Man, I really want to play with this again. It's so freaking beautiful. I could not recommend it more. Coming in at number four. Out of those little perfect world palettes, I didn't expect to like this one the most. This is the Flora Story palette in collaboration with Makeup Just for Fun. I love this color story. It's so, it reminds me of a garden. So she named it perfectly. I really love the greens in here with these purples. Love the eye looks that I created with it. I love how Odin's Eye always has one of these like white iridescent shades in their palette it's more of like a topper shade oh this palette is so beautiful i honestly thought out of these palettes that i would like the planet spirit more but there's something about this um color story that just truly captivates me i just think it's so beautiful i feel so inspired by it she did such a great job and it truly lives up to all of my expectations and i highly recommend it now we are at the top three. Oh, I love these so much. And coming in at number three, we have the Odin's Eye Trick or Treat palette. This was in collaboration with Angelica and the color story. This color story is perfect. These, this top row, those are my kind of neutrals. I love a freaking yellow matte. I love this mustardy color. I love the yellow shimmers, the oranges. You guys know how I feel about orange. And when I first saw this palette, this quad down here like sucked me in. All I wanted in my life was to put these two mattes in my crease, this on the outer portion of the lid, and this on the, the inner part and the inner corner. And I did just that, and I was so happy with those looks that I created. I haven't gotten to play with this one in a minute, but it's one that I... I desperately would love to pull back out. I really love like this blackened olive shade. It's like an olive with a black base. It's so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this one is supposed to be in some of the boxes too. Actually, all three of these. Coming in at number two, we have the Merry Christmas palette. 
I love this color story. This palette is so freaking beautiful. And I love the grungy shades in here. I really love this pop. I think it's so beautiful. This shimmer is really pretty too. It kind of reminds me of the one from the Earthwood palette, but it is a little bit different. The Earthwood palette one has more of that like orange flip to it, but this one is really pretty as well. Not me looking over the camera trying to see like the, the monitor behind it, but this is beautiful. And I'm really glad to have this one in my collection. Let me know down below if you guys guess my number one palette that I'm about to show you. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. And I'm so happy they're putting it in the box. But it is the Hella palette. This palette is beautiful. The artwork is so freaking gorgeous. I just love it so, so much. And this color story really took me by surprise. I mean, you can see how well loved and used this palette is. I have just loved every look that I've ever done with it. I really love that she paired like the pastel yellow and these like grungy greens. They're like swampy with these pinks. I never, like I've done pink and green eyeshadow looks. Even with the eyeshadow palette I'm wearing today, which is the Unearthly Devour palette. But I never thought about pairing these pinks with those swampy colors. And that's the thing like I love about collaborations with other creators is you get to see like makeup through their eyes and you feel so inspired by what they created and I just think it's like a domino effect and I just think that's beautiful and I freaking love this palette. It is my favorite Odin's Eye palette. Obviously it's number one but it's so good. And listen, if I did not have this palette and I had the money to buy that box, I would buy it solely just to get this palette. Even though there's only a chance you'll get it, you don't know for sure if you'll get it or not. I would honestly 100% buy that box just for the chance of getting that palette. That is one of the best palettes in my collection. One of the most creative color stories and I love it. But you guys are going to have to let me know if you were me, how would you rank these? What is your favorite Odin's Eye palette or what is your favorite least? Dyslexia gets me every time. But what is your least favorite Odin's Eye palette? I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you plan on picking up these boxes? I would love to hear that as well. One thing, I wish Odin's Eye would bring back their blushes and highlighters. I have two of their blushes. I have none of the highlighters, but I would love to get more of the blushes and pick up some of the highlighters but i don't know why they don't bring them back thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end if you liked it please give me a thumbs up it really does help me out and until next time bye